The Best in the West Nugget Rib Cookoff is underway in Victorian Avenue. Yeah, can you believe it's already here? 22 rib cookers from around the country are in what many call the Super Bowl of the summer. Paul Nelson joins us live from the rib cookoff after talking to some of those barbecue experts and customers. And Paul, how are things going down there? This event's off to a great start, Land. You can see there's already a lot of people showing up down here. And as you know, it's all about the barbecue, things like ribs and pulled pork sandwiches. But you also need a drink to wash down all that food, especially in this hot weather. And that's why there's so many other vendors here to help you out with that. The rib cook-off is back, featuring nearly two dozen competitors. Butch's Smack Your Lips Barbecue made the longest trip, coming all the way from New Jersey for another crack at the title. We have so many friends and pseudo family that we've met just from coming out here for so many years. We love to come out and see them and to feed all the great people here. More than a half million people are expected to come down here during the six day event, eating about 240,000 pounds of ribs. We're expecting, you know, huge crowds and already you can see that they're coming in on the first day bright and early. Those crowds have people from all walks of life sampling the different kinds of barbecue. We get to taste all the um, all the sauces and see what we think the best one is. Temperatures could reach triple digits this weekend. A limited number of tents provide shade and vendors sell things like shave ice. Lemonade is one of the crowd favorites. There's a lot of ice in it. <laughs> it's really, really cold. We know people love to come down and, and have a beer and certainly do that, but remember to stay hydrated as well. We have um, a whole bunch of different beverage booths um, all along Victorian Avenue. The hot weather is good for some of these beverage vendors and some that serve other cold treats. You get to a point where it's too hot, though. People don't like to come out. Sierra Swirl Soft Serve Ice Cream gets a lot of customers during this event, especially in the evenings. When it cools down, you you know, usually into the, you know, upper 80s, you know, low 90s, and people come out, and we do a lot of volume on, you know, this, especially this event. We do want to remind you that parking is a little bit tighter this year because of all the de development down here, but there is shuttle service. One of them is uh, over there at the Iron Horse Shopping Center. That's on Prater and McCarran. The other one is over in Reno at the Reno Sparks Convention Center. The shuttles come around about every half hour, and they're free. Covering the story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.